Hello, I'm Britt from Slanted Spines and welcome to my video. Hello, today is Saturday. September 11th. Oh, it's the 20 year anniversary of 9-11. Mm -hmm. um, we are at the state park that my family goes to every single year. Um, I'm with Bryant. Say more. Okay, I got my parents behind me. Uh, they're really far back there. That's and awesome. then Timothy, my brother, and his girlfriend up ahead. So this is kind of how our hiking experience typically goes, is that they're way ahead of us and they're way behind us because they like to stop and look at things. Yes. But yeah, we just got here this morning at about 9 a.m. We got up at 5 a.m. It feels like that was a whole day ago. <laughs> it feels like it was so long ago. Um, and it's been really nice so far. We're going on our traditional Vista hike which is a great overlook of the entire park. Well, of the lake that the park has. You'll see it soon. You'll see it soon. It'll look really easy from your end, but meanwhile, our legs will be really sore. Um, hey guys, you wanna say hi to the video? How is your camping trip so far? Really good. good. Really good. good. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite part so far? The salamander. Yeah. You we saw a salamander? Yeah. Yeah, we found one. We took some photos Aww. of it. Mm -hmm. Aww. Yeah. When you went on your little hike? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Aww. Yeah, because yeah. they got here yesterday. I had to do homework, so I got here today. Um, they're finally catching up. And... That's... That's what's happening. Oh, I can't wait to go up the vista. Me too. Got my sticks. Parents are somewhere down there. Ugh. Cut the tape. Oh. oh my god. I wonder if the camera picks up how heavy I'm breathing. <laughs> <laughs> La Vista! Oh, Welcome! Oh, there's a spider. I see those spiders everywhere. There are three of them on the bathroom door. There's like a Cerberus spider. Alright, we made it! Woohoo! I hope my parents are okay. Woohoo! How was it? Fine. Fine. <laughs> I'm gonna videotape Timothy running and then maybe I will follow. It always seems faster. I run until I stop. Yeah. You do yeah, don't do a face point. You got a buddy on you. Buddy. Oh. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Yep. All right, on your marks. You want, You're not first. racing. Yeah. Just run. <laughs> if Spencer wipes out, I want it on video. Ha, 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 ha. 
Okay, now I want to do it. Hello, it is about 4 p.m. We just got back from our Vista hike, and I figured since this is a booktube channel, I might as well talk about the book that I'm reading this weekend. And I started today is When the Tiger Came Down the Mountain, um, which is a little fantasy novella. I didn't realize it till I started reading it, but apparently it is the standalone follow-up to The Empress of Salt and Fortune, which I haven't heard of or read before, but I am enjoying the novella so far. I'm 30 pages in, but it starts on page 11. <laughs> so I'm actually this far, which is not very far, but I'm liking it so far. It seems like the protagonist, which is like a cleric, is non-binary, and they are in this region where they meet this woman and the two of them ride a woolly mammoth. But they're in somewhat of an arctic tundra and then they encounter some tigers and I think that it's about to get into like the history of the tigers or something like that, which will be neat. So it's pretty cool so far and I'm liking it. Okay, what are you reading? I'm reading Get a Grip on Philosophy by Neil Turnbull. Neil Turnbull. It's a book that Melissa gifted to me. Should I say Melissa? Say Brittany's mom. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> it's a book I got from Brittany's mom today. Um, it's about philosophy. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, that's, that's really it so far. Yeah, can you flip through it? I just want to oh, yeah. show everyone what it looks like on the inside because it's got this neat brown paper. Yeah, it's like a... almost looks like newsprint. It does. It, it reads like newsprint. Um, it feels like almost like I don't know, uh, recycled like oh, cardboard. Yeah. Um, and it's got all these cool uh, illustrations. Some of which remind me of like Monopoly. Like, that's yeah. gotta be it from like a Monopoly card, right? Yeah, it does look like it. So yeah, that one up top. Yeah. So it's like a bunch that's of just neat. random. Like, How's the content? Like, uh, so far, it's just. Um, been kind of an understanding of what philosophy is, mm -hmm. a breakdown of like the historical context of what it means to be a philosopher, mm -hmm. um, to ask questions, and what kind of type of questions count as philosophical questions as opposed to everyday questions or mm -hmm. technical questions. Awesome. Yeah. That's exciting. Yes. Thanks for talking with me. Thank you. Okay. Hey there. Hello. How Hello. are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. What you reading? I am reading Beheld. On the cover. Okay. And it takes place in Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it is uh, takes place ten years after the Mayflower lands. Mm -hmm. So you have the, the they call them the saints and the sinners, and the saints are the Puritans, and the the sinners or saints and strangers. Oh, okay. Yeah. The saints are the Puritans, and the strangers are the not Puritans. <laughs> anyway, and the, the conflict between the two, and there's supposed to be a murder that takes place. I am almost halfway through, and I haven't got to the murder yet. And then there's also another ship that is coming in that has docked, but we're going backwards a little bit, and we haven't got to these people who are on this new ship, which I think might have something to do with the murder. Yeah, you're like, give me to the good stuff already. Yeah, but it's interesting. <laughs> yeah. It's an interesting story, and like we said, I love the cover. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll yeah, the design. Yeah. Cool. I'll let you know how if I you like, like it later. It. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for sharing. You're welcome. this? This is a northern red oak. Leaf, Ooh. very large in size. As big as your face. Big as, yes. I'm not bringing... Today here. is Sunday, September 12th. Yeah, it's it about 10 30, so 11 a.m. and we are on our first hike for the day. We have been playing this game though called Don't Get Got. Everybody flash their wallet things. Oh, okay, so... Somebody explain how this works. 
So you have like all these different cards. Thank you, Spencer. <laughs> oh, I knew it. I knew no it. No one else would. Get, oh a, my God. Player. Get a player to explain something. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so you have all these different cards, mm-hmm. and you're trying to get somebody to do these. So um, I got Timothy to kiss me, and so he got got. Yeah. And so whoever. <laughs> And then you can, and then you like flip the card to either nailed it or failed it. Because if they call you out, you fail. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's kind of like a long term game. So like we draw cards in the morning and then play it throughout the day. And at the end of the day, we see who got the most. So far, Bryant is really good at this. He gets me a lot because I'm a sucker. (laughs) One of his, for example, let's do some example ones. Like yesterday, he got me because his card said. Um, sit down on the floor for a while and get a player to help you up. And I helped him up. Uh, what are some other examples from yesterday? Um, I had to pretend to fall and get somebody to help me up, and I got him. Sucker! <laughs> See, that's what you get for loving someone and caring about them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about you? I don't remember. I got mom once yesterday, but I don't remember the sugar. what it was. Get them to say sugar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, that was a good one. But yeah, so it's a lot of fun. Uh, we're waiting for my mom right now, that's why she's not, not here. She had to r- run back and yeah. grab something from the cabin, but we're just hanging out. Examining the ground because it's spongy. Spongy. Square pants. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Fun fact I forgot to mention that we were reading this book, well, listening to this book on our drive here, but it's called The Heartbeat of Trees by Peter Wollum. And apparently, humans are the only mammals that can see the color green. Or one of the only mammals. There's her patented wave. I'm calling it. It's a tree snake. He's way there, <laughs> but he's over here. Yeah. Well, maybe he's, this okay, is so maybe a he's snake. even larger than this. We're looking at a snake. Um, right now, we'll go live to, to a close up of this snake. Oh, oh. My, my camera's like, focus. 
Yeah, like how did you tell it was there? It's like not showing up very well in this video. Oof. see me? Yep. <laughs> uh, this is the book that we were listening to on the drive down here. Um, my mom recommended, to, recommended it to me and she liked it so much herself that she bought the book. Oh, it smells good. Energy is low. <laughs> Very tired. Oh, but I'm reading more of the When the Tigers Came Down the Mountain and I'm just a little bit more than halfway through it and it's really interesting. It's basically just like the tigers talking about their family history and they're kind of like telling it around a campfire. So it's like very appropriate that I'm reading it next to the fire over there, but it's pretty cool. And I like how the tigers will interrupt or the people will interrupt each other and be like, oh, that's how I, that's not how it went. Like, here's how I thought it went. Um, so it's like very oral tradition-y. We're making dinner. And I think the rest of the camping trip is going to go by very quickly. What's your plan? Uh, Zelda. Legend of Zelda. This is yet another item I checked out from the library. And we're making dinner. That is a wrap. Bryant, how was your Parker Dam camping experience this year? Oh, it was amazing as always. Amazing as Had always. A great time. Enjoyed not being at work, hanging out with the Spines family. Just <laughs> throw that in, in post. Yeah, we'll just cut that. <laughs> totally, <laughs> totally different spot of the cabin porch. <laughs> well, cabin six, you served us well. Thank you so much for watching my video. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye. See ya. Um.